good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Watch. This is our July 22nd edition. We're well into summer now and uh, so it's such a joy to be seeing God's creation in the beautiful sunshine. We've had a lot of rain so it's been uh, very healthy for our farmers. Now they're, they're just asking for the sunshine to come out. And uh, my name is Pastor Matthew and I'll be joined in this episode with my wife Erin and we'll be uh, doing some songs, uh, reading some scriptures, and praying some prayers with you. Uh, and so as we do that this morning for our morning watch time, we'll start off with some prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for uh, the summer sunshine that we are able to see outside of our windows. And indeed, as we uh, go out and go on walks and get to meet with one another now, uh, we marvel at your creation and at your goodness and your faithfulness to us. I pray that this time would be one where we consider again who you are, what you've done for us through the person and work of Jesus Christ, and for how that shapes the way we live, the way we think and even feel in this day and age. So give us strength this morning. I pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, the theme for today is the cross. We're going to be looking at the cross and focusing on Christ's suffering and our hope. So the theme is the cross, and we're looking at Christ's suffering and our hope. And so to begin, we'll start with that hymn, The Old Rugged Cross.
I will cling to the old rugged cross. Such a beautiful picture and imagery of how we live our lives as Christians clinging to that cross of Christ. And I want to read for us now from Romans chapter 5, verses 6 through 9. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners wandering from God, but we were so far from him, even then Christ died for us, knowing full well that truth. And we remember that he died next to these criminals on the cross. And to, to one he would say, you will be with me in paradise. Uh, but to the other, they were he would continually be separated from God for all eternity because he did not come to Christ. He did not repent and give his faith to Christ alone who died for all. Uh, so we want to continue to consider the cross by singing the hymn, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. truly is a beautiful hymn with so much truth and so much hope in it as we're looking today at the cross, at Christ's suffering and our hope. And we want to share with you, Aaron and I want to share with you now a song um, that will serve as a special number for this episode, the solo. 
And uh, so Aaron's going to introduce this song now. We want to share a song with you that Matthew and I learned um, in Ireland at our home church, so we hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
love that song. That's That's been a great song that we'll sing at home together and just enjoying the, that knowledge of, of the shadow of the cross that we live in right now. Living on this side of the cross, we see the glorious work that Christ did there and that salvation. That is our hope. So for our devotional this morning, uh, we're back into a Moody uh, book. I'll just hold this up so you can see. There he is. That's D.L. Moody. And uh, today's reading is from July 22nd. Uh, and he says this, We are apt to think that young people do not have any trouble. But if they haven't, there is one thing they can make sure of, that they are going to have trouble later. Isn't that true? If you don't have trouble now, trouble will find you out. Man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. Trouble is coming. No one is exempt. God has had one son without sin, but he has never had one without sorrow. Jesus Christ, our master, suffered as few men have ever suffered and died very young. Ours, too, is a path of sorrow and suffering, and tis so sweet to hear the Master say, I will be with you in trouble. There's our hope. I'll be with you in trouble. Don't think for a moment that you can get on without him. You may say now, I can get on. I'm in good health and prospering, but the hour is coming when you will need him. So remember when the Master says, I will be with you in trouble. And I think that little excerpt is so uh, powerful. These are just little uh, journal entries, essentially, that Moody would put in his diary. And on this day, as he was reflecting on one of the Psalms, he uh, considered the cross, which is what we're doing today, and how the, the trouble that we experience in this life, um, the, the remedy for that is the hope of Christ. And when trouble comes, because we know it will come, some of us are in trouble right now. Some of us over the past year have gone through so much trouble. And he says, when trouble comes, there is Christ. And so now I want to respond, have us all respond together with the hymn, Jesus Paid It All.
Jesus has paid it all for us. Another scripture verse that comes to mind is 1 Peter 2, 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and to live in righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. We die to our sins in order to live for righteousness. And that's the Christian call. That's the Christian's journey in this life, that, that dying to ourselves, taking up our cross, following Jesus as he calls us to righteousness. And so as we end this morning, we want to have a benediction of, um, I don't believe it's a hymn. It might be a newer song. It's very simple, though. It's just, I exalt thee. And uh, we'll sing this together then as we close. We exalt you, our great God, and uh, we will continue to do so until you call us home or until you return. We will exalt you. Well, so good to join with you for Morning Watch. I'm seeing some of you now in person, now that we're able to come back together and, and be at church together. So that's been wonderful. And if we haven't met, God bless you. And let me pray for all of us as we close this morning. Heavenly Father, we do exalt you with everything that we have and everything that we are, what we will do, and what you would have for us. We want to exalt you with everything. And thank you this morning for reminding us of the cross of Christ, for our salvation and our hope through that mighty cross, because Jesus has paid it all. And when we survey that wondrous cross, that old and rugged cross, we look at our Prince, our Prince of glory our Prince of Hope. And uh, God, I thank you also for reminding us in this devotional to be uh, constantly aware of our need for you and that as we go through trouble, you are right there with us. You're with Daniel uh, in the lion's den. You are with Jonah in the whale. You are with the Israelites marching around Jericho and all these trials and, and situations that we go through, you are with us. And you will continue to be with us as our hope. So we praise you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Have a great week. And we'll see you next time on Morning Watch.